This is the time of the night where everyone tunes in, regardless of what they're doing. It is the Chew and Wolf Show, number one rating show on town radio. And this will be the last version for, I think, three weeks. So I, I suggest you uh, podcast it because uh, you can replay it over the next three weeks. Chew up. I asked the question. This is how it works. I asked them, you give it a statistical bent that no one else in football does and everyone walks away the better for it. I am getting the feeling that this sort of drop-off and demise in Essendon's form corresponds to a very similar time last year. I don't know. I haven't looked. Tell me the story. It's funny you say that, Gary, because rounds 9 to 14 last year where the Bombers lost five in a row, yeah. the two key stats where they no, dropped off. Let me it? tell you what I would think they were. Sure. Kicking efficiency would be one. Correct. And uncontested possession would be another. Unbelievable. 15th for kicking efficiency and 17th for uncontested ball in that five-match <laughs> losing streak, Gary. And this year, rounds 10 to 17, they've oh. lost four out of the seven. Yep, and? 18th for kicking what? efficiency, 13th what? for uncontested ball. That is just uncanny. I thought that was what was happening, but now you're able to fill it in and it all makes much more sense. The other thing I wanted you to focus on in our last edition of the Chill Wolf Show for a while is the unbelievable abundance of left footers out there for the Hawthorne Footy Club. I don't think opposition teams pay enough attention to it. I certainly see players constantly go to a player and not go to the left-hand side of them and they get exposed. I need you to tell me what the efficiency rate and how many there are and what efficiency rate are they going at. Gary, I'm just telling them up as uh, as we right, speak we'll here. See if you can fix that Hawthorne, 11 left footers actually, I've 11. counted. 11. And they're going at 82% oh. by foot, which is 16 above the AFL average. Hang on. How much above the AFL average? 16% for Carlton Draft above the AFL average. I wouldn't be surprised if a few of those blokes are going at 100%. Well, funny you say that again. Gibson, what? Gibson, Guira, <laughs> and I'll just check here, in suckling, they're yep. all going at 100% in the back half of the ground. I can't believe this. I can't <laughs> believe for our last two and we'll show for three weeks, we've given such a comprehensive wrap-up. That is uncanny, and those meetings that we're having through the middle of uh, the week are starting to pay off. So Have a look at the smile on Chew's face. He's like a little Labrador that's been given just an extra bone tonight. <laughs> What, is, what are you two up to? It is embarrassing duck, that we have to put up with that at half time. <laughs> right ahead of yourself. No, I was just going to say, if the Chief is listening, he, he might not be, but the Gary, the code's been cracked again. Well, yeah, that's how he likes to just sign off these days. The code's been <laughs> cracked yeah, again. Sort of, is that for the, your the, news, the, the good news? news? Tonight, now he goes... You're lucky the Chief's not here, because he would actually get physical. The code's been the cracked again. Hey, Chew, go and get yourself a cup of tea, son. No worries, thanks, Gary. You like a cup of tea at half time, don't you? Yep, I right. certainly do. Get me one while you're there, Chew. No worries. Thanks, guys. If you Twitter, um, best wolf and true ch- ch- wolf show ever. That's from Nick N. My housemate says the wolf is at the service station pumping his own tyres up. Well, listen, <laughs> that's not right. It's nothing to do with me. I All I do is ask the question and the chewer goes to work on the rest of it. So... Uh